It is Sir Ian McCallum. So, Ian, how lovely to have you, you here. You know, I always thought this show was sort of done in your front room. <laughs> and this was the view out of your window. And all the guests were waiting in your bedroom, lining up for you. But, waiting uh, for what, I wonder? Well, exactly. Waiting for release. Um, <laughs> they told me, uh, during the commercial break, they said to me, you know what, what we, we were watching Sir Ian in the green room there, yeah. and he keeps opening and showing the contents of his briefcase... I know. ..to Matt Smith. Ah, what, yeah. what do you have? Can you well, tell us what's in is, this It's case? a briefcase. I should have brought it with me. It's, well, it's we... my most prized possession. Well, Matt, actually. would you bring out the briefcase? Yeah, I'll do. Would you mind running out? So you brought there's your briefcase with you? There's a little story to it. OK, I didn't know anything about this. So... No, well, you wouldn't. No. Okay. No, because it's, <laughs> it's your briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to find out. Well, I'll, I'll start the story. I was at... Um... Here he is. He's my new friend. <laughs> I was at a charity auction, you know, where they put things and, and, and yes. uh, for sale. And this was this was for sale. It's a very smart case. And I wanted to buy it because can you see there's an two initials on the there. Initials are L O. L O. You want to put a third one on there, L O L, because that's what all the kids are saying. Yes, <laughs> but why why would I be interested in, in, in a ah, ah. Who? Okay. Lawrence Olivia. Lawrence Olivia. Now, who was the hero of my youth? And uh, this was for sale. Uh, Joan Plowright, his widow, had given it for, and, wow. and it just fits uh, a, a script. You see, that, that, that's all it gets. Oh, in. Wow. So and awesome. I was outbid by Sting, who was at this uh, do. Sting. And uh, my sixth, hold on, hold on. Uh, my sixtieth birthday. Hold on. Never mind that. Sting. What a <laughs> for a start. <laughs> that for that. Well, that's what I thought. But on my sixth. <laughs> On my 60th birthday, this arrived all wrapped up as a present for me. Wow. I know. As I said, Sting, what a lovely guy. I've always, I've always <laughs> forget about him. Uh, why don't we send Matt back? Because Matt... No, 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 no please. Can I see you again? Yeah, absolutely. Because <laughs> he's, not, he's not got a girlfriend, and, you know, yeah. that's... Uh... <laughs> There's a... There's a twinkle in your eye, McCallum. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? As they say, you don't ask, you don't get. There right? you go. Um, well, yes, because you've been here. This is the exciting thing. Uh, there's a sitcom coming on TV. I've seen the first episode, laughed uproariously from beginning to end. For a start, what an incredible cast. Alongside you in it, there is there are two of the, the you know, most famous respected actors in the business. Number one, Sir Derek Jacobi. Yes, yes, my How own How incredible mate. is yes. that? And also Francis de la Tour. Yes. And many other fine actors and performers. And Tell us the premise, because it's a fabulous idea. Well, I got the script and it was called Vicious Old Queens. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I'm not old. <laughs> It's about two gay men. You can tell. Look at look at us. Yeah. <laughs> we've been it's an adorable we've been, old gay couple. I know. We've been living together for 48 years in Soho, and the world's passed us by, really. We keep the curtains closed all the time. And um, well, there we are. That, that's the story. And they're perfectly horrible <laughs> to each other. That that's the, the way they get through life. But what's being... interesting is it's very bored in that in a good way. It reminded me of Golden Girls a little bit. Absolutely. You know, it was a very girl. kind of very welcoming comedy. And what was I thought so sweet? If you'll forgive me for rambling about your thing is. Clearly, they still do love each other. Of course, yes. If they didn't, it would be intolerable. And there's a rhythm between uh, the two of you. I hadn't realised that you hadn't done uh, something like this before together. This is the first time you've actually... Is it the first time you've ever worked together? Oh, well, Derek and I were at university together. Uh, and uh, we acted a lot there, but then we went our separate ways. And because, on the whole, we play the same sort of parts, yeah. we never got together in, in a play. And, uh, no, th this is the first time for over 50 years. Did you, did you ever have a relationship, the two of you? I beg your pardon. <laughs> no, it wasn't for want of trying. He was... <laughs> I mean, Derek was gorgeous. <laughs> Tight trousers, uh, quiff here, orange uh, duck's ass at the back. You know well, that look? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, um... <laughs> But, oh, you know, this was, this was the 1950s, yeah. and I tell you, if you were gay in the 1950s, you didn't dare risk telling anybody else you were in case you got um, reported to the police and put in prison, it was It was illegal, or yeah, aspects absolutely of... absolutely illegal to make love. But, uh, and uh, Derek was clearly gay, uh, and he just uh, happened not to fancy me, so... Um... Oh, thank you. <laughs> I've got by. I, oh, I <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> I agree with you. Um, this, might, this might sound absurd, um, uh, but whenever, you know, and I know, obviously, you lived through that period, but when mm. I've read about that period, I've seen um, shows that deal with that period and, and uh, seen films, part of me thinks that there must have been, in a way, even though obviously it was intolerable, uh, the way society uh, dealt with gay men in some ways, at the same time, the underground scene must have itself been very exciting. That and very... is what some people say. Not for me. Uh, yes, I, I, yeah, I do hear people of mine say, oh, it was much more exciting. But it, what's exciting about having, when you shook someone's hand, to shake it in a certain way in case you got a message back saying that I'm gay too? Or queer was the word we used about ourselves. Horrible. No there, were no, there were no gay bars to go to. There was no way we could obviously meet people like yourself. There was no gay literature. And, 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 <laughs> and, and, there's no way you could go out for the evening and be yourself. Yeah. You had to do it behind closed doors. And yeah. it, that's exciting every so often, but not throughout your life. No, no. No. Have you filmed the, the whole series? Have you already done it? Yes, the first series, but now we're doing a Christmas special. So, that, that so they're already there confident. There are going to be two Queen's broadcasts on Christmas Day. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've seen you live on stage, and you're an incredible stage actor, and that's kind of, you know, where your career was yes. for many years, and then cinema came knocking, and, and now TV How as well. How did that happen? Well, that's just incredible that Why you're... Why did that happen? But you're in such huge... <laughs> because you can do it. But... Yes. Uh, <laughs> the thing was, I think I've got better as an actor. In fact, I know I've got better as an actor. No, I would disagree. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you mean I've stayed as bad as I always was? No, thank I'm you. joking, you know. No. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I suddenly I'm in, I'm in films Huge that people want to see. Well, really, uh, really, the blockbuster movies, obviously, The Hobbit, The Lord of the Rings trilogy, The Hobbit, which they managed to take a very slim book and make that in trilogy, so you know, clever, good, yeah. good luck with that. Um, <laughs> but it will be huge. Uh, and the X-Men Do you know movies, why that is? Why is that? This little thin book. How can they make three big movies? It's the difference between literature and cinema. Tolkien writes, the two mighty armies met on the plain. Yes. Film, such a literal medium, has to show you the armies. And that's 10, 15 minutes. Well, that minutes. takes forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, so, it's not that they've expanded the book, it's just that they've, they've given images to the book. Made it, made it come alive. Yeah, on screen. Hopefully. Uh, and you're back as Magneto in the new X-Men movie, which is exciting, because the last film was great. Yeah. Yeah. But it went back to the, the beginning of the X-Men. Yeah. And now, uh, and, you know, I'm a huge comic book fan, this is based on one of the best X-Men stories of all time, Days of Future Past. You and Patrick Stewart, of course, who yes. is Professor X-Men series, and you've known each other. I know you're working on many projects together. Uh, yes. Up. I'm going to marry Patrick. Okay. But no, no, no. Well, <laughs> how else do you put that? Oh. I am going to officiate, yes, at his wedding. So how come you're uh, legally allowed to do that? Well, I, I don't know, but uh, <laughs> apparently <laughs> in, in, in Massachusetts, <laughs> or nowhere I don't know, we're in the middle of the, uh, America somewhere, yeah. You get anybody along, a friend, and I read out the, so you uh, can the do words, it. and uh, wow. Sonny and Patrick will then be married. What? I declare you man and wife. Uh, have you had experience of this kind of thing? Do I you have. know? I've done it once before with two guys uh, having a civil partnership. We're here in the UK? Yeah. What a nice experience that must be for oh, you and for them. I was crying my eyes out. I bet. Mm. Well, that would probably spoil it a little bit. I mean, if you're, <laughs> <laughs> if you're blubbing all the but way But what do you wear when you, when you officiate at a, at a wedding? Well, what did you know. go with? Well, last time I went with a, a sort of gown, a, a white... Um, <laughs> something I bought in India. It was rather <laughs> fetching. Um, <laughs> Well, you, you mustn't upstage the, well, the bride, how, how obviously. How can you not upstage it if you're <laughs> floating in like some sort of cherub? <laughs> so an elderly cherub wafting in. <laughs> Darlings, are we ready? <laughs> oh, I'm so emotional. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> I apologise, I got a bit carried away right. there. Nice. Okay, uh, <laughs> next time you come back on, will you please bring a photograph and show us whatever it is you wear to officiate at Patrick Stewart? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure it'll be on Google. You'll, you'll find it somewhere. <laughs> I'm, probably be, if you wear a big enough hat, it'll be on Google Earth. We'll see if <laughs> <laughs>